What do you see the impact on the business with connected TVs? Um, well, first we, you know, being, uh, you know, having a background in the internet, for me, it's really interesting because it's another way to look at television viewing uh, and not just television viewing as we think about uh, people consuming regular uh, video content, but other kinds of applications like social media applications that can now happen on television. Uh, we would love to see that grow and we understand that many of the TVs, most of the TVs that are shipping uh, toward the end of this year and the beginning of next year now have the ability to connect. Um, you know, I think what will really drive that market are killer apps that sit on top of the TVs that make people want to connect their TV and uh, you know, we're optimistic that we'll see one or two of those in the next couple of years. So in this media ecosystem, how would you say the ad purchasing model will evolve and how has it evolved from when you started in the industry? Um, well, it's, it's interesting because a lot of the tools that, that are being used are tools that were, were developed for a world where there wasn't a lot of fragmentation. Um, if you look at, at reach of ad campaigns, it's been declining probably since 1983. Um, so I think the evolution is better measurement um, means that ad spend on television will actually increase because it's very difficult for a brand advertiser to, to get the same effect online as they can get uh, as quickly as they can get it on television. So I think that, that change is, is, is coming. Ultimately, you know, so if, if that's where we are today with the beginning of better measurement and, and a little bit more accountability and a different view into to ad campaigns, ultimately uh, it'll be much more like an infrastructure that powers internet advertising where there is addressability and you are able to uh, better target in individuals or households or, or zones uh, than you can today. Can we talk a little bit about the issue of privacy? I know everything is anonymized, but as we get more to one-on-one -on -one marketing, um, how do you think privacy will come into play? Well, I think the, f the first thing is you have to build privacy into the company, and we call it privacy by design. So you have to design the company around uh, this, this notion of, of privacy and it means something different on television than it means online uh, or it means something different for, uh, for someone selling TV advertising online versus a company like Facebook. But uh, you know, the, the, the first is that, that the data has to be anonymous uh, and that, that anonymity of, of consumers is something that we don't believe that you can break. Uh, if you think about how uh, a lot of things that happened in, in digital advertising with uh, cookies and offline matching and things like that, that crossed what we call a creepy line. And uh, you know, it's it's uh, you know the way that we think about it is: would we want someone? You know, would I personally want someone uh, collecting information about me that uh, that was personally identifiable? If I didn't know about it, I definitely would not. Uh, if I have the op if I have the option to to either accept or decline it, that's important. But it ultimately means that you know beyond anonymity, complete transparency about what you're doing with the data, the data you're collecting, and how it's being used is is sort of the baseline of all businesses that are dealing in in uh, targeting. I think the the other thing is that. Uh, you know, profiling of consumers to us is, is crosses that creepy line and we're really looking at large audiences and segmenting them rather than profiling individual consumers, even at an anonymous level. Because, you know, if you think about it, the, the power of television is in scale and, you know, the profiling of individual consumers not only is it across the creepy line, it, it also uh, negates some of the positive effects of television. So the, the creepy line. <laughs> How do you know when you've crossed it? Or is it the kind of thing where you know it when you see it? Um, I, I think it is. I mean, we, we have, you know, we have a, a set of rules in place to start with that, with that anonymity of consumers. Uh, but you, you do know it when, when you see it. And if, if it makes you uncomfortable uh, to think about how, how you would feel if it was happening to you, that's sort of the, that's, that's where you're crossing the line.